Hey everyone, it's Mr. Dave and I'm back with another tutorial. Uh, last time I showed you how to take your content from D&D Beyond and use a Markdown extension in Chrome to quickly bring it into Alchemy. Uh, what I want to do now is show you how I would approach creating a scene using the information that I brought over. So if you recall last time, uh, I brought over Lost Mine of Fandelver. In that tutorial, I showed you how to bring in different parts of the adventure as different modules. So today I'm going to talk about how I would build a scene specifically for the part of the campaign, part two, Fandolin. This is where I think you as a DM or GM have to think about how do you want to set up your cinematic scene. So uh, if you haven't run this adventure before, Fan uh, Fandolin is just this... Um, town that has a lot of things that your players can do. In my opinion, I don't know that I would necessarily create a scene for every place in Fandolin, but there are a couple of key locations that probably would be worth setting up a scene to give that atmospheric vibe. And so one of those is Stonehill Inn. So I'm going to create a scene specifically for Stonehill. What I would recommend that you do is that you could create a scene in the game itself. However, if you create a scene in the game, that scene is not shareable or you can't import that into another uh, adventure or game. So I would recommend that you create your scenes as part of your universe. And you can see up here, there are different sections. And this is where I'm going to create my scene. So this right here is an asset that I actually got from James RPG. And he has a really cool artistic style and he animates it for me. James RPG actually offers a lot of scenes for Lost Mine of Fandelver, but I want to create my own for Stonehill. So what I'm going to do is show you how I go in and animate uh, my backgrounds and you can choose to follow this or if you have other programs, um, you're certainly more than welcome to use those. I use my iPad and I use an app called Motion Leap. And let's go ahead and pop over to my iPad. So what you see here is an image that I brought in of a typical tavern D&D &D sort of inn. And what Motion Leap allows you to do is add various different elements and effects. What I'm going to do is come into elements. And the one element I want is this fire. Now what I can do is I can just pinch and zoom and scale this and bring this right over here. Uh, you can see here that the uh, fire is already in place and I'm just gonna scale it down so it fits just like that. It, it has this little button called harmonize and basically what it does is it takes the background so it blends in a bit better. So I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and click add and I'm gonna add one more and I'm gonna bring this one over here. I'm gonna scale it down now, as you can see, obviously that is over top the gentleman there. So Motion Leap gives you this mask and what I can do is zoom in and I can go ahead and just mask out where I don't want the flame to be. I actually want to do a little bit more around his head here. Great. I'm going to say play. Okay. I like that. So I'm going to zoom back out. And so now you can see I have these fires going. The other thing that I want to add is a light to some of these lanterns to have them sort of pulsate or flicker. So I'm going to come down here and select this one. And I'm going to shrink that down and place it right there on that light. Again, I'm going to hit harmonize. And I'm going to bring the opacity down to maybe 40%, maybe a little less, maybe like 30%. I'm going to add one more and I'm going to put this one maybe right here. I'm going to scale it down, harmonize and bring this down. All right. So now I've got the fireplaces going. I've got my lanterns sort of pulsating. I want to now go ahead and put an overlay. Uh, no, maybe shimmer. There we go. And I'm just going to bring this opacity down. So this just gives a bit of like dust. Now, 
in Alchemy, they actually have an overlay that you can do this in, but you can only do one overlay at a time. So I'm actually going to apply this dust in this app, and then I'm going to use a different overlay in Alchemy to sort of layer on my effects. I like that. I'm going to back out. And then the last thing I'm going to do here is just do a slight adjustment. I'm going to bring the brightness down a bit, contrast up a bit, and I'm going to bring the temp down just like that. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and export this. So I'm gonna export this as 24 seconds as a live video. And I only need 2K. I think that's good enough. We'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and hit export and let that export. So while that's exporting, Alchemy does not accept QuickTime. So what I'm gonna use is an online converter called Cloud Convert. And this allows me to MOV and I'm gonna convert it to a WebM. I'm gonna just drag my file in. So I saved this and I'm gonna change this to a WebM and we're gonna go ahead and hit convert. And while that's converting, I'm gonna come back to Alchemy and I'm going to pop back into my universe and scenes and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new scene. I'm going to go ahead and call this, this is a stone, stone hill in, and this is in Fandolin. All right. And I'm going to come back over here and see if we're done. It's still pro. Okay. Yep. So if I go ahead and hit play here, you can see, yeah, looks good. I'm going to go ahead and download this and come back here. And now under environmental visual, this is where you will upload your item select this uh, just so you guys uh, know the difference there when i exported that movie out of motion leap it was 20 megabytes uh, after converting it to a webm it took it all the way down to 1.7 megabytes so significant decrease in the amount of file size and you're going to see it's still going to look pretty good all right, so next I'm going to go ahead and put in a motion effect. And this is what I was talking about, where you can put in motion effects, one of them being dust here. Uh, but I want to actually use a one called Tavern. That looks really nice. And then for music, so one of the things uh, when you're building a scene, at least that I haven't been able to figure out in your universe, is <clears throat> it doesn't allow you to add assets to a scene. So for instance, I have tabletop audio, which uh, I purchased from the marketplace. It has a lot of awesome sounds, but it doesn't allow me to add that here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So now we have Stone Hill in, and let's pop over to the game and add it. I'm going to go ahead and hit Add Scene, and there is the scene I just created. I'm going to go ahead and insert it, and we'll go ahead and play this. And there we go. Uh, there is the scene. You can see it's pretty vibrant. We've got fire going, we've got lights flickering. Now, the one thing I want to do is add some music and sound. So this is what I was talking about where in the actual game itself, I can hit details and in the scene, I can add ambience here by clicking select. And now it gives me the option to search and filter. I already know that I want a sound called saloon and it's this wild west saloon so i'm going to go ahead and select it and add it and as soon as i add it it should start playing and we'll see if you can hear it and there we go so i'm not sure if that sound's going to come through on the audio uh, of recording but it, i think it all comes together really nice and so now if i'm running this adventure i can say my players entered the stone hill inn there's a bunch of adventurers sitting around drinking uh, staying warm by the fire, and I've got this music to complement uh, the adventure. Now, what I would do, and I can do this in a later um, video if you're interested, if there were specific NPCs, like a bartender or someone uh, in the bar that's going to give them a adventure lead, I could add them as NPCs here uh, and <clears throat> you know decide when I want to show them and they could interact with them and have the story. That is how I would add a scene to my game by adding a bit of animation and some music. So anyways, I hope this was helpful and we'll talk next time. Thanks, bye.